Hey beauties, so you've done your homework, you've posted videos, you've got your channel homepage all figured out with a cute banner, and your channel is starting to get a little traction, but now you're ready for sponsors. Well in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get some. you want to look into when building your channel is sponsors. This is going to alleviate some of the financial burden from you because you'll be able to review their products and some of them might even compensate you. Now a couple of things that I want you to keep in mind when accepting sponsorships from companies is don't be afraid to ask for money. You cannot pay your rent in lip gloss. You cannot go down to the store and say I have a mascara, can I have some food? No, you need money. So don't be afraid to ask for money because they are making money off of you. Granted, some people might not want to work with you because they know some people would do it for free, but you are worth it. And remember that, you are worth it. Number two, make sure that you're promoting products that you truly believe in. You will regret posting things and taking products that don't represent your brand because you are a brand. Your brand is you. Whatever your channel is, that is you. And you don't want anything to compromise that. So make sure you're only working with companies that represent what you stand for. And number three, don't be afraid to give negative reviews. Stay honest and stay true. Just because someone is sending you a product to review does not mean you have to give them a positive review. And usually what I notice is if a company tells you you cannot do a negative review or they want to see the video before you post it, that means that they are probably garbage. Yes, that means they're no good. They're, they don't have good business practices. Because if they were confident behind their products, they wouldn't be afraid of negative reviews because they know how awesome their stuff is. So think about it. Now on to some sites that are going to help you get sponsored. Now first of all, if you're new, you're just starting off, you have a very small channel, I would definitely, definitely tell you to start with Octali. That is one of my favorite sites. I use it actually all the time. And I like them because they cater to smaller YouTubers. All you have to do to be eligible to join that network or that site is you have to have a thousand views on a video within a month. So if your videos can generate about a thousand views in one month, the first month, then you're good to go. You'll be accepted. Now, now with them, all you have to do is fill out an application for a campaign. The company will decide whether they want you or not. If they do, all of a sudden you'll get a, we love you, you've been accepted, and the next thing you know, within a week, you'll be getting your product in the mail. Once you receive your product in the mail, you have 15 business days to get that video posted and trust me they will send you reminders but one thing that I do like about them is they don't force you to do a full review let's say you want to add the product to your video as a side mention like I love this that's perfectly fine but all you have to do is post a link on the website showing the video that you created and talking about the product like such now this is one of the items that I did get from them and this is a Derm Doctor. This can be purchased at Sephora and this is the KP set. So you're probably wondering like what is KP? KP is keratosis pilaris which is a skin disease that they sometimes label as chicken skin which is these little bumps that you get especially on your thighs and your legs. So you're going to exfoliate with the exfoliator and you're gonna put the cream on and this will alleviate that issue for you. So I'm actively currently working on this product. I will be doing a full review, but this is something that you can look out for. And like I said, it can be purchased in Sephora. You see how I mentioned it in the video? You can do a, a favorites video and just add those videos to it. You don't have to put a full review of the item in order to get credit for doing a video. That's one thing that I love about the, the site. And it's just a really all around great site. I like the fact that they don't ask you for any money. It's nothing that you have to be financially responsible to them to. Um, it's just great for beginners. So check them out. I will place a link down below. And not to mention you do get credit for other people um, signing up for them or with them. So why not do it? The second website that I would tell you to check out is Grapevine Logic. Um, they are another site 
it's a little bit hard to get sponsored because there are a lot of people on there and a lot of bigger YouTubers. So the more the more the site has bigger YouTubers, the harder it is for us little YouTubers to get stuff. But it's the same concept. You apply for a campaign, you do a brief little description, um, or you can do a little caption telling them why you would like to create a video for them. And then they have you do a monetary session. They don't allow you to accept no money. The way that Grapevine Logic gets paid is you assign a fee. You're going to charge that company a fee for doing a video. They can either accept it or not accept it. If they do accept it, Grapevine is going to take a portion of that. But as you type in the amount that you're, you're going to ask for, they tell you how much they're going to take out of it. So you already know already what's going in and it's a one-time fee for that video. It's not like every video you go in, they're going to take that amount. But every time you assign a fee, they do get a cut of it. Not to mention you do get the products. So that is another great thing about that particular site. I think they add things to that site daily. So just check back because you never know what you're going to find. Now the last site that I'm going to tell you about is FameBit. I personally have not cracked this website. I've applied to many, many campaigns, never heard anything back, but I'm still putting my fillers out there. But it's FameBit. Famebit is more geared towards the bigger YouTubers. So that's why I think it's a little bit harder. Me just having 35,000, which I love you 35,000 and I thank you so much for watching and supporting me and let's get it going. Let's get more so I can do more. But you know, with 35,000, that's not a lot of people in the grand scheme of things. And sometimes I'm happy that my channel isn't that big because I can have like a more one-on-one -on -one thing with people, but okay, whatever. So I'm still working on FameBit, but it's the same concept as Grapevine Logic. Uh, you have to fill out a little application. They will, uh, you assign a fee, and I do believe they take a portion of your fee from there. But um, yeah, I would also tell you, please, 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 really look into these networks that are sending you emails. Um, I recently almost signed up for Style Hall and as I did my research, I was so happy I wasn't. Because it seems like so many people are trying to dip their fingers in your Google AdSense that it's not even, you know, funny. And sites like Style Hall and other ones like it um, will promise you sponsorships and all this other stuff, but they do come at a greater cost than what you're actually going to be receiving. So I like these three sites because it's no financial burden to you and all you do is get in there and if they like you, you have it. So continue posting great stuff, continue doing you know what you do, love what you do and it'll come across in your videos and good luck marketing yourself. Another little tip before I go, be your own version of beautiful. It'll help you. You'll see. You'll be so confident and so beautiful within your own skin that people won't be able to deny it. So that's it. Bye guys.